Hello and welcome to Alex Bolton and welcome to episode 4 of Ruining Liverpool. Yes, Johnny Everton is still the Liverpool manager, despite getting off to a... Actually, it hasn't been the worst start in the world, considering the team. Kicked off, won the Community Shield, although I was on holiday. Then we beat Brighton incredibly in that first game, thanks to the wonder goals from Jay Spear and Charlie Adam. And in episode 3, things started to go awry. We lost the European Super Cup to Chelsea 2-1. Although we did get level, Jordan Ibe got himself his first goal. And then it was Bournemouth away and we got absolutely battered 5-1. So that should be a sign of things to come. Let's see how we'll get on today. Next up we've got Crystal Palace at home. Ooh, we're first given Anfield since the 2-0 win over Brighton. We haven't, we've been good at home, 100% record. We're really good at home. Goals Carl Gorman has called with a question he would like to ask you. The fans are less than happy with John Flanagan since arriving. Are you confident that he can ask you? Like in Asuwa's the doubt. What, I mean, what kind of questions that calls? Mm. Thesaurus Gorman here, assertive. John Fanning is. I completely believe in John and his ability. Yeah. Alex Oxley Chamberlain injured two to three weeks out. That is not good at all. I'm going to look at this quick under 23s game because I imagine there were some big players. Gomez, Van Dijk, Firmino, Lalana, and Trent Alexander Arnold all played. Didn't play very well though, did they? So. Justifying why I've dropped them. Here we go, we've got the pre-match press conference. Scouting meeting, still don't need that. Don't want to sign Bernardo Silva, get over it. Liverpool are favourites for Crystal Palace match. <laughs> really? Kelly and Hodgson set for Anfield reunion. Yep, look forward to that. Uh, yeah, let's attend the press conference, see what we'll get asked. It's fair to say Liverpool didn't have the best of times against Bournemouth. Are you looking for a reaction from your players? No, I'm not. It was difficult to pick them up after that game. Assertive. Can Dejan Lovren earn a place in the team? Can he? Sure, will he? Don't know. <laughs> Sounds like David Brent there. Martin Kelly has a number of standard attributes and many people feel that he could make the difference against Palace. Christ, I've lowered expectations here pretty quickly. Uh, I spent a lot of time thinking about this match and I reckon we could be in for a surprise or two. I don't know what that means. Andy Robertson appears not just being great fit in terms of your team style, but also for squaring off... What? Shy question, no comment. Right, here we go with a half past five kickoff at home to Crystal Palace. We're on the box. Let's have a look. What's that kit? Is that even a real Crystal Palace kit? Anyway, John Flanagan injured. That is bad news. Who are we going to put in? Where is uh, Andy Robinson's on the left wing? Right, let's have a look what we're going to do here. Excuse me, Jordan Henderson is back. All right, all right, so we'll put Charlie Adam on the left. Andy Robinson can go to left back. And we'll stop John Flanagan with... Did I say John Henderson's back? He hasn't even been anywhere. There we go. And we'll just have to deal with limited substitutes. Yeah, we'll just we'll go with that. That'll work, won't it? We'll have to. Here we go. Into the dressing room we'll go. Team talk. Cautious. Just go out there and relax, play your natural game. Here we go, we're underway here at Anfield. 100% possession, oh, we've lost it. Palace coming forward, Andros Townsend, he's, he's from the width of the pitch. We can't even get close to him, Paddy Van Anhalt. We still haven't touched the ball. Townsend, oh, he scored. What a rock, I mean, what are we going to do about that? We could have had Alisson, Karius, and Adrian and Andy Lonergan in goal and still wouldn't have stopped that because because it wouldn't have been legal because you can not allow four keepers. What a goal. Andros Towns has just signed him. 1-0 down after 10 minutes. Not good. Ooh, got a free kick. Minamino's going to... Oh, no, it's cleverly. Sorry, he'll put it in. Delivers a lovely ball. What in? We've equalised. Martin Kelly. Cameron Jerome at the back. So heads it back across and there's Martin Kelly to get the equaliser. The press said he was going to be the difference, and they were bloody right. 1-1. One, one. It looks like Jerome's header was actually saved by the keeper. And there's Martin Kelly, like a bloody poacher. Like a young Alan Shearer. Based on the stats, we're actually massively on top here. Half time. Good half. Team talk. Aggressive. Can be aggressive? I can be aggressive. I'm far from pleased. I'll fight them up. Here we go, this could be a win, this. Got a good feeling here, going into the second half. Oh, Jordan Ives got an injury. I suppose we better take him off, because he's quite a key player. Who we got out and put out there? We'll put Duvok out there. 
Confirm, and there we go, don't need to talk to him. On comes Origi. Is there gonna be a winner here? Not looking likely. Been a very even game between these two sides. There we go, a full time, 1-1. One, one. Another point on the board for Johnny Everton. Team talk. I'm happy with that performance. Oh, the players love it. They've got such low standards now. Jordan Ibe injured out for one or two days. That's fine. He'll be ready for Watford. Pretty much press conference. Let's see where we go. We were all surprised to see Martin Kelly pop up with a goal. His overall game is the most important thing. Andros Townsend. I come across being a bit here, but I genuinely don't think it was all that special. That's a lie. There was growing discontent in your reluctance to play attacking football. What was your response to that? I want to be result judged on results. Christ, that was peak Jose Mourinho, that was. In at the top half, we'll go up to ninth. Get in. Let's see what the fans are saying after that game. This one is about spirit and desire more than anything else. I know, that's their pretty much comments, right? Let's see what they said after. What a load of rubbish. Not happy with that. Not at all. Great result. Can't believe how good we were. More of the same. Ah, oh, to my next fan. <laughs> okay, so the fans aren't happy with my night. Oh, that's good for them. Did they win? They must have done. Let's make a quick board request. What would we ask for? Um, that's for a new contract. You haven't been with us very long, you should work with what you have for now. Aww. League 2 press. Not that I chose not to support the journalist. What's that idiot Carl Gorman? Whoever I hope he's not real because I don't think he's an idiot, but... Liverpool received £13.13 13 million pounds just for being in the Champions League group stage. They're just giving money away. Is it time for the draw? Carabao Cup third round draw, let's see, draw all teams, who have got Plymouth away, that is a doozy. What a game to get knocked out in that could be. Champions League group, let's have a look. Draw all teams, we've got Shakhtar Donetsk, Inter Milan and RB Leipzig. Mm, it's not a bad little group that. Not a lot else to say really, it's alright, is what it is. I'd like to think we've been sacked by the time the Champions League kicks off, but maybe he's not, considering even Crystal Palace couldn't beat her. It's actually concerning that we're getting results. It says a lot about the standard of the Premier League that a team of Liverpool misfits that have signed, playing the most defensive style of football you've got, can get points. Liverpool press conference on Champions Cup draw. Ah, oh, no. Bit, got a flight to catch, man. Did I have a flight to catch? It was at Anfield, never mind. I'm the only way is Essex was on. Press conference before the Wolves game. Here we go. We'll attend this one. This game sees Tom Clever return to his former club. It's becoming a bit of a circus, really. How important will Tom Clever be for your approach? Stop asking. I'm storming out. I'm not taking all these questions about Tom Cleverly. Everything goes berserk. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Being badger, oh, Tom Cleverly this, Tom Cleverly that. Give it a rest, man. Ask something, you know, with a bit of purpose, a bit of meaning. And is Tom Cleverly feeling all right? Do you think Tom Cleverly will score? No, I don't. He's fine. Get over it. He hasn't eaten in a week. Oh, no. This is back. Cameron Jerome injured for one to three. Mm, will he be back? I can't see him being back. Uh, skip the briefing. Don't need that. Is he going to be fit in time? He said he might be out for a day. I mean, that, that is a day, so... With a bit of luck. If not, it'll have to be Divock up front, who's actually decent. Then again, you know, Cameron Jerome got himself a goal, he's got an assist, he's, he's excellent. What a sign. Still playing in Turkey nowadays, I was watching the other night. Didn't see him touch the ball. I mean, I wasn't watching for long, I only watched for five minutes of it, but in the five minutes he didn't, he didn't do much, but I mean, he might have scored, don't know. Alright, here we go, it's game day. We've got 500 grand for Sacco, great. Edwards recommends screen yards a top target. Don't think so, considering we've got Martin Kelly. Training. Don't care. Continue. Fitness test. Cameron Jerome. Keep up playing in the forthcoming fixture with... Mil yes. Get in. John Flanger. Not quite fully fit and should be monitored. I mm, think you're going to play, mate. Oxley Chamberlain. Not fit. Dwight Gale. Not ready for a fitness. What's the matter with you? 
sure I played him the other week. Right, so John Flanagan won't put him on the bench. What does that mean? Fitness test. Past fitness test recommend to build up match sharpness with a maximum of 45 minutes of action. Right, that's fine. We'll stick Shakiri in at left back. And we'll get uh, Andy Robertson back on the left wing. We'll give him a chance. Let's swap them two around. Need Charlie Adam in the middle. There we go. We'll go with that. We'll get Shakiri a half, see what he can do in the noobs. I mean, that's, you know, him and Minamino on the flanks. Excellent. We've got more talent in the fullback positions than we do on the wing. That's a bit harsh on Andy Robertson, but you know what I mean. Here we go. What, what, what should we say ahead of the game against Watford? Team talk. We're the favourite here, so give the fans a performance. Into the tunnel? Question. Maybe Kane is caught up. Oh, why would I care about that? Alright, oh, you're about to start. Oh, let's ask you about this kid who's on loan at Hull. What a ridiculous question. Ball goes up. Karen Jones doesn't win it. Watford racing forward early on. Danny Welbeck. God, he's gone past him with ease. Did I fail? Ooh, that was close. And Watford are dominating early on. We are yet to have a shot. To their nine. Here come Watford again. The Kouris finds Messina. Oh, Minamino, brilliant defender. And he's won it. Oh, oh, that was a bad ball. That was not good. Ooh, that was close again. Tom Cleverley, what were you doing? He's... God, he's feeling the pressure. It's the bloody press. Hounding him like a dog. They've been banging at his door every night. Are you scared? Are you scared? Approaching half time though, it's still nil nil. Look at all our players just composed. Where's what for the panic and Shakiri? Why, why is this a ball we keep playing the crossfield ball to no one? Watford pinging it about, but I mean they're not hurting we Can't touch her. Can't even get in the box. They're in the box. Well back. Oh, it's gone over. It's not even close. Can't hurt her from there. And again, best player on the pitch. Half time. Yeah, the assistant can speak to them. Not bothered. I'm going to the vending machine. Andy Robertson's feeling anxious. Up, he's fine now. Now we're on the attack. Jordan Ive goes past his man, Jerome. And it's Tom Cleverley. Ooh, Tom Cleverley. You scored that if the press hadn't been banging on his door at 3 o'clock in the morning. Danny Welbeck, what can he do? Oh, he's gone past someone. Save by Andy Lonergan. You're not going to be Andy Lonergan from there unless you're Andros Townsend. Ooh, oh, no, it's gone in. Oh, that was bad goalkeeping by Andy Lonergan. All the good work he's done. Uh, but Robertson, there you go. Missed, missed interception. His fault. Not the fact it's gone through Andy Lonergan's hands there. Oh, he saved it and then just chucked it in his net. Never mind. Half an hour to go. 1 0 to Watford. But can we respond? Minamino into Cameron Jerome. We've got no one in the box really. Minamino driving. Go on. Oh, he's bro It's a penalty. Maybe he's. Is Var going to give it? Yes, it is. Who's number 24? It's Charlie Adam. He scores. Charlie Adam. Liverpool's top scorer with his second of the season. Right, let's make a change now. I'm going to take Andy Robertson off because he's having a bloody stinker. Get Divock on down that left. Here we go. We are so resilient. The Kure. Oh, Tom Clever, he's just... Oh, he's fouled, oh, he's fouled him, never mind. Thought he'd pinched it, thought it was a brilliant tackle, but never mind. Last 15 minutes, I think we're going to go for it. So we'll take off who's struggling out there. We'll take off cleverly, you know, take the pressure off him, and we'll get Dwight Gale on. Even though we've been told, oh, don't risk him, we're going to do it. Get him up front with Cameron Jerome. Pop spearing into there, and let's go for it. Very attacking. Confirm. Free kick straight away, Charlie Adam. Oh, it's in. We have done it already. We are brilliant at football. Divock Origi with the header. Charlie Adam, man. What a player. Gerard who? Wicked ball in, that is. Origi the super sub. Johnny Everton has done it again. Footballing genius. Everyone doubted him. Proceed with tactical changes after that call. Yes. Let's keep up this momentum. Let's bloody go for it. Come on. Welbeck's got chance of Pesetto. Oh, it's 2-2. Damn it. 
Ignacio Perceto, Danny Welbeck, he's been brilliant and we should have signed him. But it's been coming, I assume. Can't be asked to watch that again. 2-2, Two -two. is there going to be a fifth and decisive goal here at Vicarage Road? Lonigan boots it up long, we've lost it, oh dear. Dakuri driving through the middle, oh, what is that? Terrible effort, bit embarrassing really, Abdullah. You come off for the oh, we've won it, here we go, Dwight Gale and he's half a leg. Finds Jay Spirit, no he hasn't, Charlie Adam, go on Charlie. We've lost, oh no. Oh, this was actually just a set up a Watford counter-attack. They're going to win it, aren't they? Here they go. Oh no, Martin Kelly. Super Martin Kelly. Up the Dwight. Oh, I've lost it. Oh, this is anywhere and stuff. This is... Oh, God. Danny Well... Oh, he's scored. Oh, he's scored. Danny Welbeck. Oh, no. <laughs> that was really good. Well, it wasn't. It was from him, but... What were we doing? What an emotional roller coaster that highlight was. First thought it was us, then it was them, then it was us again, then, then the scored, and now I'm sad. Eight, nine minutes on the clock. Watford three, Liverpool two. Have we got anything in worth? No, doesn't look like it. No, we've been beaten. Watford three, Liverpool two. But I tell you what, I'm bloody proud of the lads for that. Aggress can I tell them aggressively that I was. No, I can't. I thought I could aggressively tell them I'm happy, passionate. Despite the result, I'm pleased with your performance. Oh, come on, lads. Pick your chins up, man. No, we didn't beat Watford. Come on. Be proud of yourselves. To the press conference. Let's see what they say before we wrap episode four up. That was Dejan Lovren. Yeah, that's the important thing. Dejan Lovren's 150th Liverpool appearance. Yeah, you can't overestimate his influence. Danny Welbeck's late winner must have been a real kick in the teeth. We're on the dressing room. is very low right now, and it's going to be difficult to pick them up. I'm only being honest. Why have you adopted this particular tactical approach? I do for the same reason I do everything else. We are about winning, which, which we haven't done for a while. Martin Kelly made a pretty horrendous mistake, which I don't think it was horrendous. All he did was boot up the pitch. Martin has excellent mentality and he'll bounce back soon. Let's have a look at the table. Obviously, we're going to an international break now. We've got Norwich up next. Let's check the table. We are 15th, four points on the board after four games. Is there any pressure on us? The board is satisfied with your management of the team. That's, that's getting lower. Last time they were just happy for a new manager to be in charge. But we will leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, share it, like it, all that good stuff. If you're a fan of Alexbo, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you never miss a video. But until next time, we will see you around.